Hey, what's up? How are you doing, girl? Hello, Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and I'm going to be doing your general reading for this week. So I'm going, going to be doing my usual spiel. Uh, I'm going to be doing three rows for you. Your first row is going to be what the current energies that you've been dealing with. Uh, your uh, middle row is going to be the blessings that are become, coming your way. Really good cards for your first row, by the way. And for your last row, it's going to be a spread or three cards from spirit or in your spirit guides on like advice on what you should be doing to receive those blessings that we were talking about right because it doesn't mean no good to talk about like what where the energies are actively trying to manifest you know what you're trying to actually what you're actually going towards if you know you don't if i don't provide any kind of blueprint to how to get there right and that, at least that's just my views on it so um, yeah, when it comes to these types of readings, though, I do ask you to rely on your intuition, though, um, because I, could, I like to use examples. So I could be talking about a relationship, but the cards themselves might be pertaining to something differently for you. It could be talking about a business situation for you or for a work situation or family thing, right? So that's where your intuition is completely reliant on, wow, really powerful energy for you, Leo, really reliant on you crazy energy leo oh my goodness let me just go into this reading right now for you leo so for your first row i have the world card archangel michael number three equaling into numerology write that down uh for you leo uh and then we have the nine of water really good energy and then the sun card as well beautiful energy equaling to one as well into numerology so write that down as well leo so before I even go into any clarifiers, let me just explain how I'm processing this energy. To me personally, I'm processing this as like you're in the process of like, um, because all of this is like really powerful energy, really like, you know, like you can't really get much better than this sort of thing. I feel like the only way that you could really improve on it is if we were to pull like magician right now for you in terms of just like that kind of manifestation energy, that kind of just like positive energy. Um, okay. I say this because the, uh, hold, wow. Okay, before you get into your clarifiers, so let me just talk about the world card. So the world card is just like you're clump coming into your own. You're just like figuring yourself out, right? You know, the nine of water comes in where it's just like positive things just flowing into your life. So things are starting to look up for you overall, Leo. This is the kind of energy that I feel like has just overall shifting for most people. Most of the zodiac signs recently I have found personally. Um, I also have like the summon of water that came out of nowhere actually <laughs> when I was reaching down. Um, the summon of water is asking you to do some research on something. So maybe that's maybe like a suggestion for you during this week right now, Leo. It's just like with everything positive going on right now, maybe this is like a things that are working out for you or when you're finding that like, so let me use an example of like, let's just use YouTube for an example right if i were to <clears throat> if i were to be processing this reading i would be like okay since i'm doing like zodiac readings now on my youtube channel this is how i would process this i would see this kind of setup and be like okay right now i need to figure out this would be like the week of me putting out different kinds of content that would interest me um and see how those results would go so i'd put out like a zodiac readings this week right i would do pick your cards another week i would just do personal vlogs another week and then i would look at the numbers and see which ones is working out the best and because that's where uh spirits really trying to assist you move you along in that kind of way uh sort of thing and like then i would lean into that more so if it's like when it comes to like the zodiac science like i would lean into that more because like people seem to be be more receptive towards it that seems to be where the energy is trying to take me so that's the kind of thing that i'm trying to express to you right the clarifiers i pulled for you though um the hermit card again because as i say again because you had the hermit card in your second row which we'll get to you um we have the knight of cups so i always associate knight cards with like new youthful energy so like this is like a new thing for you but does it make sense leo because i feel like you were dealing with a little bit of a rough patch you're going through like a cleansing period so it's almost as if like through this cleansing period that you've been dealing with for the past while now you're just now kind of discovering like what it is that you want leo what it is that like drives you what it fulfills you 
five of swords yeah i feel like if this is like the kind of energy that you're just getting out of which is like you're done having to explain yourself you're done feeling like you have to prove yourself you're done having to constantly feel like you're building up a case you're just right now i feel like the best thing for you to do is just to start hermiting in start um and just focusing on you and focusing not allowing outside energy to influence you right now um the full moon in capricorn the end of a tough cycle approaches yeah this is what i was just saying right you guys were dealing with something for a while now and i feel like it's finally coming into closure and once it does come into closure i feel like it is important for you leo to hermit a little bit and just to be with yourself and not have outside exposure to energy and just allow yourself to be with it i don't know i just feel like you just shouldn't involve other people right now um but let's get into your second row your second row we have the six of wands so it's collaborative effort collaborative energies but it's interesting we have the hermit card this is where i was talking about your hermit card coming in again and then the four of coins so this is like the blessings to come so it's almost like it's through like this hermiting process that like you figure out what it is that you want to do that's collaborative with other people that'll be fruitful that's what i'm getting initially from like this first stride right now right just looking at it before it without pulling any clarifiers so let's see let's see what uh we have for this right now let's break this down um but yeah when you have when you a lot you have a lot of repetitive cards coming in here um really just overall powerful cards especially for your last year as well but something i kind of want to point out to you leo is that one of the underlying messages it just seems is just like you this constant push for you to hermit right i don't usually am not that obsessed with telling people it's just like oh don't connect with other people usually i'm the opposite right but i feel like for you before you get into this collaborative effort that we see here it's important for you to figure out who you are first figure, like having conversations with yourself taking yourself out on dates first before you and like include any new energy into your life <coughs> ah okay let's continue on with this um the clarifiers that i pulled for you four of air time to take a rest or a vacation allow more time before making a de decision meditation may provide the answer so yeah this is just literally the hermit card energy again but just in a different form you're just being pushed so much to really just like be with yourself this is really a time for shadow work and I'm, like i go into shadow work because for your last row we have the strength card in here as well we'll get into your last row of course later i'm not going to jump on the gun here real quick but like that's just like giving me that affirmation we have the king of earth as well though which is talking about a successful time confidently accepts the uh things that you're offered and midas touch so yeah it's almost as if like once you figure yourself out leo once you figure it's almost as if like you reserve a way and you figure out what it is like you ask a question what is it that that leo wants you look in the mirror and you're finally like what is it that leo wants what is it that i want what drives me what will fulfill me right because the ace of water comes in with the fulfillment um once you go through that like hermiting process of just where it's like you don't have outside energies helping you or influencing you it's just you figuring you out then you come out and you're ready to really like collaborate with other energies because it's like you know yourself best once you're sure of yourself you can go to other people and know how you want to collaborate and how you want to work with them so this is just powerful energy you're coming into your own it explains why you have so many major arcana like in your spread overall just because it's like you're just like in just typical leo fashion like you're really your energy is being very just pronounced during this time even when you're like dealing with heavy stuff like your energy is so pronounced it's like very much so it reminds me so much of like i guess like phoenix energy as cheesy as it might come off or sound right that's what i just feel for you um, new moon in Gemini, communication is key. Don't let your past hold you back. South node, your commitment's being tested. First quarter moon. Yeah, like, this is just such a, like, you know, you know what you need to do, Leo. This is such a good, um, need to just term it right now. Don't allow, like, what's been happening, what it is that you need to release. Whatever it is that you need to hermit from, don't internalize it. That's something that Spirit's really trying to give to you, right? Really trying to make known to you. Compassion. Come from a place of compassion, not only to other people, but to yourself as well. Um, this is really just a time of where Spirit's really asking you not to hold grudges 
basically leo not to hold grudges and allow it to allow see things to see things for how they are and see them for the upgrade of lot like see it for like how like someone leaving your life see it as like an upgrade to your life or an improvement to your life rather than like you feeling victimized right back to that four swords energy the energy that i say that you felt i felt like you were going to stray from um for your last row we have the devil card keep in mind again the last row is like the energies that you need to work on so the devil card coming forward knight of discs coming forward and then the strength card coming forward so really powerful energies um so the strength card comes forward in terms of like shadow work right i view the strength card just as like a shadow work card through and through ace of coins comes in inverted so this is giving me the affirmation because i wasn't quite sure about the knight of disc i didn't get to it yet because this card just fell out but this is like such a suggestion of being careful of your finances and where you're spending your money and when i say money i don't just mean like actual like money dollars leo i mean like you're um, energetic money, right? Because I view our energy, I view energy itself and time and all that as a currency. So it's like, don't invest your time into a relationship or energy into a relationship that is not of service to you. Don't, you know, don't hang on to these past energies. Don't like cling on to like, don't hold resent resentment or grudges towards something because you're actively spending money on that or energy on that, right? Um, the devil card comes in where it's kind of still calling you out and where it's just like the devil like everyone has their devil right i know some people would try to argue with me in that but just like at least with my belief system right i walk a very middle path i walk i have very left-handed practices but i very much so believe everyone has like the devil in them and like yeah i pulled the hangman where it's just like we have our vices right we have like we're just human right we're not perfect beings and you shouldn't strive to be perfect beings but the thing is that you should be working on leo is like don't cut your nose to spite your face this is something i used to always get told as a kid when you have the hanged man and the devil card coming in this is very much so cutting your nose to spite your face what i mean by this is just being like uh don't do something just out of spite don't do something just to get at somebody this is where it comes back to the full circle where we talk about coming from a place of compassion again right and don't letting your past hold you back and having good communication because it's like these people are coming forward to you as a test, as like a test of your own commitment. There's, so don't internalize this. That's such a big push for it, right? Strength card comes in. I don't need to even pull a clarifier for this because this is just shadow work, right? This is giving me such a head, like another affirmation that like these people come into your life right now. These not coming into your life right now because I feel like most of the, like they're leaving your life act actively currently. And I say they like these, this the person. This person could just be like a work situation. This could just be like a you know whatever. However your life is, Leo. Right. Um, let's see. Just any more cards. Uh, I felt drawn to pull these two. The shark card. Your trust your instinct. Trust your instincts to discern the truth in the situation. And then the Falcon card, two alpha energies here. Act on the opportunity that's before you. Commit to it without um, questioning. And see, let's pull one more card for you. Um, yeah, truth. So interesting. So the, this very much so took a very random twist to, at the end where I feel like it's like something comes to light when it comes to like a specific connection with somebody. Something happens where it's just like clarity happens. I almost want to say confrontation happens a little bit. But it doesn't have to be bad. I mean, I don't view confrontation as a bad thing anyways. But uh, yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Leo. Really good energy overall. Um, I love you so much. Thank you again for allowing me to do this reading for you. If this does give you a sense of clarity and a uh, sense of direction, please, again, remember to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But I hope I do get the opportunity to provide another reading to you again at some point, Leo. I love you so much. Bye.